The director of Titanic, the film, James Cameron, dove to the Earth's deepest point in a specially designed submarine, making him the first man to travel alone to the near seven-mile depth of the Marianas Trench in, Trench in the Western Pacific. Well, Gautam Naik is here to discuss the achievement with me. Gautam, first of all, what exactly did he do? Well, he uh, went in a submersible down seven miles, which is a little more than the height of Everest, to the deepest part of the ocean known as the Mariana Trench, which is uh, an area of the ocean about 200 miles southwest of uh, Guam in the Pacific. Why was he doing this? I mean, because that's well, a lot, that's a pretty, that's a pretty, okay, it's one thing climbing up to Everest, but going seven miles under the sea, that's a lot of pressure. Well, it's James Cameron. He's, uh, you know, an established love for the oceans, and he's been in submersibles um, and dived to the Titanic wreck many, many times. Um, but I think, you know, if you were skeptical and cynical, you'd say, well, this is a bit of a show-off stunt. Uh, but there is some benefit to it. For example, uh, we don't really know what kind of creatures live uh, at that depth of the, because of the tremendous pressure. And we don't even know uh, what the relationships between these creatures might possibly be. So I think he was trying to get an initial sense of that. So was he actually down there doing sort of um, you know, biological experiments as well, collecting samples uh, in, in the submarine as well? Unfortunately, it was a bit of a failed experiment. He's supposed to be down there for six hours. He was there for only for three. Uh, there was a hydraulic leak, uh, so the oil kind of clouded his vision. Uh, so he didn't actually use his robotic arms of the submersible to uh, get any samples. And he had to come up sooner than he expected. Was he doing this on his own? He was doing this on his own, on his own. And that's what makes this a bit of an interesting uh, achievement, because in 19 1960, a Swiss and an American actually did go down to the same uh, <coughs> Mariana Trench bottom and stayed down there for 20 minutes. They didn't see anything either because sand clouded their vision. Uh, but uh, James Cameron has managed to stay there for much longer. But he didn't actually uh, come back with anything of scientific note, as far as I can tell. I mean, one can't help thinking, well, why can't they just send a submarine down with the robotic arms without anybody in there? Why, why do they need to send anybody well, down? Well, they there? have. They have sent lots and lots of robotic submersibles down. So it's much cheaper to do that. But the one advantage of this is that it can fire the public's imagination, just like putting a man on the moon fired a generation's imagination, just like Jacques Cousteau decades Absolutely. ago got people interested in the oceans. Uh, you know, this is one way when you have actual live human being in one of the most uh, difficult terrains in the world, uh, it might get people interested. I mean, as you're suggesting, this could, you know, one could actually see this as a bit of a you know, publicity stunt on the part of James Cameron, but what would, what would be next? I mean, you've gone down to the, 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 the deepest point. What, what's next on the, uh, for him? Well, I think you need to go down there for an extended period of time. You need to collect samples. And of course, James Cameron, being a film director, filmed a lot of what he saw. He didn't see very much at all this time. But in subsequent missions, uh, if he's able to stay there for longer, collect samples and actually film uh, things, then that might be interesting. One of the interesting uh, uh, aspects of this was that they wanted to send down a bait, uh, another robotic vessel with a bait that would attract various Oops. undersea creatures and, and he'd be able to be observe able to and film them. But unfortunately, the technical hitch, they didn't send it through. Thank you very much Pleasure. indeed.